the whole company has to change uh, the culture has to change correct what sort of changes you have done to reach out to your customer effect we were not able to penetrate much into the tier 2 tier 3 customers so what are the changes you are seeing in the especially in manufacturing and and in manufacturing cutting to cutting tool industry over the years so that strength india have and another biggest strength is the india's inherent demand. a very good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today i am here at a beautiful facility of during india in bomsandra bengaluru and it's good to meet mr gautam ahuja managing director goring india here in, at his beautiful facility in namma bengaluru it's good to meet you gautam ji after a span of 6 months it's always good to connect with you whether it's linkedin whether it's whatsapp or via email or a phone call it's good to meet you again here in at your office uh my first question i wanted to ask since you joined Uh, going in there uh, what are the challenges uh, what are the responsibility what are the things which you have done uh, here at going in there and how was your experience till now thank you ganesh ji thanks for coming over to going we welcome you for me it was a big change coming from delhi after spending 20 years in delhi moved to bangalore bangalore so it's a beautiful city full of lakes the weather is really good but there are challenges here of the traffic coming to gearing was also a nice change for me i did not have manufacturing experience earlier mm -hmm. which now i am having it, mm -hmm. it was really interesting for me to deep dive into manufacturing mm -hmm. and you know come out with some fantastic uh, areas where we could improve a lot okay gearing was not growing as much as earlier it, uh, so my basic task was to take gearing to the next level in india globally as you know gearing is the uh, number one or the global leader in round tools yes somehow in uh, india we are not holding that position okay and the target is to reach that position even in india correct so the product is extremely good mm -hmm. we have a lot of backing uh, from gearing globally being the number one global player so we have a lot of uh, product support the brand is respected for uh, its quality and consistency in the market mm -hmm. we are having one of the largest uh, range of standard okay. tools in mm -hmm. india so the only area which we needed to improve was which was told to me by all the customers was that we need to improve on our responsiveness okay on the sales and marketing front okay and deliver faster yes right so that includes all now you know the whole company has to change uh, the culture has to change correct from a little passive to more dynamic yes and you know because you know manufacturing in all all the departments and then sales is there where we need to be also more responsive and you know understanding customer needs in a better way okay. to deliver the right products at the right time okay so you touched upon you know faster responses So before i touch you know other uh, we speak on other subject so what are the changes you have done a to whether it's a dealer networks or whether closer to the customer so after you uh, you know uh, uh, taking over what sort of changes you have done to reach out to your customer effectively thank you for this question uh, this was uh, deeply analyzed by me okay uh, during is having the largest market share in the oem automotive manufacturers okay because it is respected for the quality the brand name and the service but somehow uh, you know being the market leader and little high priced the perception is high priced mm -hmm. we were not able to penetrate much into the tier 2 tier 3 customers okay since we did not have a very strong dealer network mm -hmm. these type of customers we can approach mainly through distribution yes so that is what we did uh, you know we have been continuously appointing new distributors okay and you know to reach out to new customers mm -hmm. where our presence is not there earlier Correct. now we have to do it and we are already doing it Correct. we are reaching out to more customers to increase our presence okay and uh, because you have got more than 2 3 decades of experience so what are the changes you are seeing in the especially in manufacturing and and in manufacturing cutting to cutting tool industry over the years see when i started it was very few companies who had cnc machines yes right today 
even a person having you know just four or five machines he starts with cnc yes any new company which sets up it starts with cnc machines yes so that's a big change from the previous years mm -hmm. also what has changed is the demand from the customers the demand on the product the quality parameters mm -hmm. that has really increased over the Correct. time people are exporting yes india is now looked at as a next hub to china yes the advantage india has is a lot of you know stem uh, executives or engineering students we have good skill levels correct and english speaking yes so it's in english we can communicate to the entire world yes so that strength india have and another bigger strength is the india's inherent demand like if you have seen that uh, 23 the entire world was you know close to a recession mm -hmm. but india did like 7.5 to 8% gdp growth yes so that is mainly due to the inherent demand of india yes and uh, so what sort of uh, uh, industries right now goring india is targeting and b what sort of responses you are getting from your users like you said quality is something which uh, everybody is looking on and like you said export is something which right now when some of the uh, uh, verticals india is exporting to other countries and where precision and uh, finishing is required so right. what sort of in you know industry you are targeting and uh, other thing the largest industry as you know in india is the automotive industry correct so automotive we divided into two right from uh, like passenger vehicles okay. is one and the other is the transportation okay then we have tractors also mm -hmm. so in all these our customers we have a large share with the oems okay and now we have started last couple of years we have started moving aggressively to the tier 1 tier 2 uh, suppliers also in this industry okay. apart from that uh, sectors which are growing in india like aerospace yes which is in the nascent stage but huge potential to grow yes. lot of new companies have come lot of mncs have come right. and bangalore is hub for that yes so that is another big area next is electronics which is coming up yes. in a big way in india right. then medical is also gearing up and then we have this uh, historical uh, the government sectors of railways and defense also mm. defense is opened up yes. a lot to the private sector correct so a lot of avenues for india for to grow the manufacturing industry every company is growing today they are putting up our all our customers are putting up new plants or mm. putting up new machines correct. so that gives us a tremendous opportunity to grow in india and so since uh, you said china plus one policy and now uh, honorable prime minister modi ji is there coming for the third term so how do you see the manufacturing sector uh, going ahead and and secondly your industry especially the cutting tool and the uh, tapping in you know, this particular industry so we congratulate mr modi to come in for his third term yes. this is i think very significant in the history of india yes. that the prime minister is coming uh, consecutively for the third term correct that really speaks volumes about the work he has done for the country yes. it was already very clear that bjp or the nda government is going to come into power correct so the growth momentum which was picked up last year mm -hmm. did not go down okay the growth is continuing into this year and in the coming years also correct india is poised to grow at a very high gdp rate of around 8% mm -hmm. which is also significant and required and needed for india right. because the kind of population or students we have coming out of colleges mm -hmm. if you don't grow by 8 or 10% right. then the unemployment rate will go up yes so that's a very important factor that india has to continue to grow at 8 to 10% right. to give jobs to our yes uh, students coming right. out of colleges right. and sir skill is something which everybody talks about as a you know leader of the company how do you see skill and how are you addressing that challenge and how are you supporting that or you know skilling up your employee yes uh, you know skilling is very important there are two types one is the technical skills yes. the other is the soft skills soft skills so on both sides we are actively working mm -hmm. uh, we are having regular training programs even for germany from the technical side okay plus we also do technical trainings for our distributors and their engineers mm -hmm. because they are our extended arms Correct. so we want to bring them also to a very high level so that they can give solution mm -hmm. also to the customers they are approaching mm -hmm. and on the soft skills also some trainings have been done earlier mm -hmm. and more are planned in this year very soon maybe next month also Correct. and uh, we are 
in the hottest month of the country in some parts of india we see delhi reaching 50 plus odisha in other part uh, so let's touch about sustainability which everybody is talking about uh, global warming sustainability so what sort of initiative you as a company are taking you know to make sure that uh, all the boxes are checked yes sustainability is the new buzzword globally yes. <laughs> And uh, we have to do our best okay. uh, for sustainability. We are also thinking of, of putting up or exploring, you know, aggressively to put up solar cells. Yes. And we are going to build up a new facility in Pune. Okay. So that should come up straight away with the, the solar cells okay. uh, as an alternative source of power to generate. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, you know, for our industry, recycling is yes. the key. And uh, but we don't have a recycling plant in India. We have it globally in Germany. Okay. So so we do, can't send the scrap back to them. Okay. But yes, we Indian do. We go to give it to people who can recycle it in. Correct. And uh, since uh, let's talk about your transition. Uh, born and brought up Delhi, GK. You have shifted to Bangalore. So what personal changes you have seen, like um, staying in Delhi and staying in Bangalore. See, for me personally, it doesn't really matter much because I have to work the whole day. Correct. It's for the family, you know, the change is a little difficult to Correct. accept or it takes time to accept the change mm -hmm. or to get used to the change. Correct. So, for me, yes, it, GK1 is a very posh area of Delhi See. and coming from there and, you know, the kind of uh, uh, facilities we have or Correct. the connectivity even by flight Correct. is definitely much higher than what we get in Bangalore. Correct. And the metro connectivity was there, Correct. but here now it's getting made. So mm. maybe in a few years, Bangalore will also come to that level Correct. of Delhi. Correct. We hope that. Correct. My two last short, short Last two questions. Uh, one, uh, what are your plans as a as a as an organization in 2024-25? You you like some target? Not the numbers, just yes, your definitely. So, we have taken an aggressive growth target every year okay. since last two years since I have joined and we have achieved those numbers Correct. and uh, going forward also that will be the case. So, my target is to take during when I joined to that from that to the next level, okay. doubling turnover soon okay. and uh, for that we are also uh, strengthening our manufacturing activities. Mm -hmm. We are adding new machines here in Bangalore Correct. as also putting up a new plant in Pune Correct. to service our customers all over India. Correct. And last question, uh, because I know it's a busy day for you. Uh, I see positioning wise and branding and marketing wise, your company is now aggressive. I can see a lot of new posts in LinkedIn, participation in different exhibition. Uh, so, as a uh, as a, I know it comes to marketing always straight comes from the top. So, what sort of marketing activities you are doing and your plans for Imtex uh, 2025, because that will be the cutting tool uh, show. So. A, what changes, because I see a lot of brand and positioning changes happen uh, since you, you know, took over. And so, A, what sort of changes you suggested or you implemented in marketing specifically uh, or maybe exhibitions or anything and B, what are your plans for 2025? I know it's early, but I want to take my <laughs> chance in asking you. Sure. See, uh, marketing is very important aspect. You may have the best product, but unless the people know about it, it will not sell. Correct. So it was known to the OEMs and we were doing good there. Mm -hmm. Unless the people below that or the you know suppliers to the automotive industry, unless they know our product, yes. how it will sell. Correct. So we have to be present in both sides, the print media, yes. the digital media Correct. and also participate in exhibitions. Yes. So we are doing all of that. Correct. We participated in 2023 Impex yes. also yes. and now we are participating in 2025 Impex also. Okay. We should have a prime location this time, better okay. than even last time. Okay. And any any new launches we can expect during the show? Launches we have uh, basically during EMO or uh, ah. AMB okay. uh, in October, September, okay. October okay. Uh, in Europe. Okay. So those will be showcased in India. Okay. That will be very new actually at okay. that time. So that will be shown there. Okay. Lastly, any message for you to your users? Uh, why people should look uh, choose Goring? Gearing is a German brand which comes with its you know best quality product and reliability and mm -hmm. consistency. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, 
you have to pay a little premium for a German product. Yes. You will not believe that we make our own carbide. The okay. carbide rods which we use okay. are all made in Germany. Ah. And we are one of the few people Correct. manufacturing tools made from rods coming straight from Germany Correct. by our parent company. Okay. The grinding machines are made by Guring themselves. We have okay. our own machine tool division there okay. who makes the grinding machines for only the subsidies of Guring. Ah. It is not sold outside. Okay. And we have 48 subsidies globally and they are busy supplying machines to them only. Oh. And we have our own patented coating plants. Okay. So we have full integration, backward integration. We okay. have full control over the process. Okay. And even the grinding wheels and cutting oil which we use is still imported from Germany or the same branch what we use there is used. Okay. So that is the kind of quality level we have to maintain. And Guring, I definitely appreciate as a policy of the company that Guring is Guring, whether it is made in USA, Germany or India, okay. the quality level is the same. And that is what we promise to our customers. Uh, you rightly said, uh, wherever you travel, you find the same quality, same product. So ladies and gentlemen, do reach out to Guring website to check out their latest product. And thank you Gautamji for giving your time today. Looking forward to see you in Samurai Awards 2024 in Goa. Uh, thank you again for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you.